How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Anthem video and today I wanted to talk about the Cataclysm, what we know, what we've data mined. There's also been a bunch of armor, wraps, decals and so forth that have been data mined by the awesome people at Anthem Archive. I have a link to their actual website in the description below. You can actually go there and join the Discord as well so you can actually stay up to date yourself if you choose to do so. They're a really fantastic bunch, really awesome people. Um, the work they do is truly appreciated and truly worthy of praise. So if you do get a chance, head over there and just say thanks if you find this information useful or if you just find data mining in general entertaining. They do a lot of this stuff, especially on patch day. So head over and say thanks if you do get a chance. Right. Giveaway. I've had a bunch of people asking me about this. I said I was going to do a giveaway of 5,000 subs and that is the case and I am actually in the process of setting it up. If you follow me on Twitter, you can find my details in the description below. I will be posting the actual giveaway tomorrow. If you do not want to engage with me on Twitter or on other social media aspects, that is fine. The next video that I will actually have will have all the information of the giveaway. It's not going to be over within a day, so rest assured there will be plenty of time for you to enter and be on with a chance to win. Right, with the giveaway out of the way, I wanted to talk about the Cataclysm. Anthem Archive have been data mining today and have found a bunch of information. We have entries for the boss, we have collectibles, we have enemies, and a bunch of this stuff is now starting to fall into place. So it seems within the actual Cataclysm itself, what we're going to see tomorrow during the live stream, hopefully, is some form of crystal collectible. These will probably be a new material and hopefully be maybe potentially a new rarity of an item. After all, we have masterwork, but we don't have legendary. But now we're going to be getting crystal like items. Additionally, we also know that the Earth Sixes will be in crystal form and will be an actual enemy within the actual Cataclysm. So despite not much being known, we do have some information. We also know from the devs that they are saying at present that the current Cataclysm will be a longer version, an extended version of a Stronghold. Now, that's just to give you a rough idea of what they're looking at. Obviously, the whole purpose of the PTS is for us to have a look at the content and decide whether it's actually good or not, and if it's actually worthy of a Cataclysm. The Cataclysm itself will be four players, it will be a pinnacle event, which means a lot of communication will be required. I'm expecting lots of mechanics in here, and I'm not expecting this to be something that we will just jump into and clear within 10 minutes of trying. With that said, we know that there's something called the Swarm Fight, which may be a mid-boss, may not be a mid-boss, we don't know. But this is within the actual Cataclysm itself. The final boss, as you can see here, Vahara boss, has basically a bunch of skills that it can use. From AoE burst, to acid attacks, fire attacks, ice attacks, beam attacks, beam laser attacks. So it's capable of utilizing all forms of attacks in order to make the boss fight that bit more difficult. So it'll be really interesting to see how this all shapes out and how it actually works out. We are going to get our first glimpse of the Cataclysm come 9pm BST tomorrow. So that's really cool. I'll be having a look at that. And I do hope you all have time to join. And if you don't, I'll be creating a summary video of that content released tomorrow night without fail. So if you don't have time to watch the stream, rest assured, a recap of what we watched will be available on this channel. So if you want to stay up to date, hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video I release. What was also gleaned by Anthem Archive from the data mining is New World events. We have two types of events. Whether these events are actually live currently or not, I'm not aware. I did actually go into the open world and into free play and I didn't see these events actually pop up. I did look at the world events within the free play, but these ones didn't pop up. That's not to say they're not there, but simply put, I didn't encounter them, but it does seem that every location has an anomaly and that is a new world event that's actually coming to Anthem or already in Anthem and we also have the Crystal Harvest which again is a new world event for Anthem. 
So it seems this crystal material won't only just be limited to the Cataclysm itself, it's now spreading out into the open world. So it seems when the Cataclysm does hit, this will actually have a knock-on effect to everything else in the open world. And who knows, maybe these crystals will actually allow us to earn certain things, maybe even legendaries. Who knows? The oyster is ours. The speculation may begin. Right, guys, that's pretty much everything regarding the Cataclysm and the world events. I've also covered the giveaway, which I'll be setting up tomorrow. Again, you can follow me on the Twitter. It's in the description below. I'd... And if you do, thanks so much. Really awesome. Trying to get to that 1,000 mark at present time. I'm over halfway now, so any support you guys can show is amazing. But if you don't like using social media, I totally get that. The next video I will release will basically have all the information you need. With that said guys, I'm going to pretty much stop talking here and I'm going to let the rest of the video showcase the armor sets, showcase the wraps, the decals and everything else. It's really awesome and guys, the storm actually gets the monitor's outfit. It's coming and it looks amazing and I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit jelly. But until the next video freelancers. I really hope you enjoyed this. I really hope you enjoyed this short dive into the Cataclysm and what we know. As more information becomes available, I'll be able to dive into it a lot more. But until then, remain legend.